guys, I'm Anime Appliance, and today, I'm going to be talking about my top five favorite anime shonen characters. Yes, shonen characters. Um, so, to be honest, I'm not making a script at all for this, so, all these characters are going to come up from my head, not from the script. So this might be a little bit more alive, or might be more dead, to say the least. So, let's just start with number five. Number five. Okay, I'm going to say number five is going to be Deku Midoriya. Is, is that his name? Deku Midoriya. There you go. Um, let's say Deku for short. So, Deku is a spineless limp with no powers in his world or a quirk. Until one fateful day, he meets All Might, the most powerful hero of all the heroes in the My Hero Academia world. And he finds out his power is one of all. Um, so they can just switch powers or he can pass on his power to Deku as he thinks he's worthy for it. But yet it doesn't get rid of his wimpiness, which oddly enough is why I like the character. Cause he's a wimpy character, cause he has no powers, he's just gotten used to him. And he's just oddly afraid, cause he doesn't know how to use his powers yet. But when he does, he gets he has some awesome moments too, because like he can just go boom! He can just be really awesome as freaking with his smash move. I, oh, I forget the name of the movie, it's been a while since I watched. My hero academia, but it's still really awesome because who doesn't love some hero academia? Plus that music. Mmm. Ah, uh, it fits so good. So yeah, that's number five, guys. Deku. The reasons I like him is because his powers, his limpiness, and his overall playing character design. So next, we are going to number four. Issei Hiyoto. I'm pretty sure High School DxD is a shonen anime. If I'm wrong, then correct me in the comments, but right now, I believe that High School DxD is a shonen anime. So, let's just keep going and let's get right into it. Issei is a perverted high school student. Um, he's just, he just, he just having his regular life, going along it, being plain perverted, watching porn every night probably. Frick, who knows? That's what we see anyway, because go, they go watch it at his friend's house and stuff. But he gets a- he magically gets a girlfriend. Doesn't that sound weird? Because, like, getting a girlfriend is just out of nowhere. It sounds weird, right? So he gets a girlfriend, and then he shows it off to everyone. And on their first date, that's when things go wrong for him. Um, he go- he just- he- His girlfriend, Rainer, or Yuma- goes and kills him because he's a fallen angel and that's his mission. He has a sacred gear called uh, Longinus, I believe. One of the Longinus dragons or whatever. Um, so he was, he's considered a threat by the fallen angels. Yuma was said to kill him. But after that, he goes, he, well he's dying, um, and before that, when he, oh, before he actually went on his date actually, right before it, he got a slip from a familiar from Maria Scremory, the main female protagonist of this thing. This is the boy version by the way, so I'm, I'm gonna cover the girls later. But for now, we're gonna cover the boys. So, Issei um, got that, and he just turned into a devil because that was his wish to get his second life. Or, it wasn't really his wish, he just summoned Rhea, and she thought he was dead, so. Work for me! Come on, yeah, go work for, for, as a devil! Become a devil! But he just thinks it's all a like dream and everything, but in short, well, but in short, he's a very high school student. He's really special with his thing. His powers are awesome, especially his dress breaks. <laughs> just joking around. Um, I like his dragon shot and his balance breaker. It's amazing. So I like his powers. I like his character as a perverted high school student. He says he's overall a funny and comedic character. I love those type of characters for shonen anime. Then we have... Actually, that's it. His powers. His... Um... Looks. <laughs> and his personality are what we have for Issei Hiyoto. 
So number three, guys, on the list is going to be Goku, our son, Goku. He was my favorite character for so long. But that was before I started watching anime from all over the place. Like, I've only watched Dragon Ball for basically my whole life until I turned 10 years old. Or was it 9? One of those ages. I started watching more anime because I didn't know there was any more anime out there besides Dragon Ball Z. So forever, Goku's my main character. He was the guy I wanted to inspire to be. Um, and the reason is because he's so kind-hearted, he's strong, he's built, and all of the stuff. He's just like, it's, he's just like a really good guy, he's genuine, he's innocent, and he never tells a lie. Um, Goku's a Saiyan from Planet Earth. He's a Saiyan from Planet Earth that bumped his head so he became a good guy. So he trained to become martial arts master, trying to become the strongest to protect the Earth and his friends. That's basically all they gotta say about Goku, cause that's all he really is. Goku is a pretty simple character for a shonen anime. So the things I like about him, he's strong, he is innocent and nice guy, kind-hearted. His overall powers are freaking amazing. Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan God, Red and Blue. And he just has the Kamehameha, one of my favorite techniques in all of anime. So, yeah, he has lots to go for him, but he's still at the top. For number two, we got Naruto. Oh, he thought, he, I was gonna put him at number one, but no, he gets number two. The reasons why he's number two, actually, because his the first part of Naruto, the little Naruto. I don't like him. Uh, that little freaking, that little guy pissed me off because he was so cocky. He was always in your face. He was so loud. He was annoying. He sucked. We're talking about the Shaputin one, but that still makes it go from the top to the second place because that Naruto freaking sucked. He was weak. He was annoying, and he was un he was an uncool character. In the first arc. Then when he came back as a teenager, Naruto had the cool factor as well as some of the good parts he had when he was little. <sighs> he had his motto, he had everything he wanted, he was strong, he had a cool and better suit, he had a better design, he had a better voice, it was a bit deeper. That what we needed, he wasn't as annoying as he was in part one. Like, if, he's still, he was an awesome character in part one, don't get me wrong, he's just, it wasn't better than the first, the number one spot. Naruto is a character who was orphaned at birth, cause of Obito and, or Toby, and then I put Tail Fox. Cause, um, they, Naruto's dad, the fourth Okage, Minato, Namekaze, and Kushino Uzumaki died from the Nine Tails because Obito Unsealed it from Kushina. So the only way to save Naruto was to seal the nine tails inside him. So he was orphaned and hated by the whole village. That's one of the reasons I like him, because he was hated, but yet he's still inspired to lead the village and be a good guy. He never once hated them except when he was little. When he grew up, he just stopped hating them completely. He was a nice guy. He inspired to be the Hokage to lead the village to better places. He was not like Gara, who freaking wanted to destroy everything and kill everyone. He could have totally turned to be that character. But then, now he's helping the village to do good things in all its glory. So, the reasons I like Naruto, one, he's a very inspiring character. Two, his powers are awesome, like the QB chakra mode, his sage of six pass chakra mode, his sage mode, and some of the techniques like the rest Sangon, the rest hand shuriken, all the forms of Sangon, Shadow Clone Jutsu. He has lots of freaking moves that are amazing that you can't miss out. So, next we have at the number one spot is Ichigo Kurosaki. Ichigo Kurosaki is a teenager who can see ghosts. 
at the beginning he explains all that, how his mother died and everything. He's been through some tragic crap too. His dad's a silly guy. He's been through a lot. He used to have a big smile on his face. He used to be the... He used to be the generic shonen character until his mother died. If his mother didn't die, he would have been the goofy character we didn't know to love in all of the shonen anime. But this time, he just turned out to be a guy who was frowny, a little bit angry, and moody. So, Ichigo, he li I like him because he's a substitute sweeper, he has the best abilities he can have, and he wants the- he has not the biggest goals. He has realistic goals. He, he just wants to protect his family and his friends. He can just- that's all- that's all his goals are. He's protect his family and his friends. He doesn't matter. <laughs> so, if, it, if his friends are getting hurt, he's still gonna save the person that's getting hurt, but... His top priority is going to be his friends and family. So, I really do think that it's better for that way, because Ichigo has it set out right. So, he, he's a family guy, he protects his family and friends, I love it. That's one of the main reasons I love the character. And his overall character design, Horn, orange hair and a black bonkai and a black suit, because Shin Gamers are black. And it's amazing, his tallness, his t overall facial design, his whole character is amazing. Um, the, now the reason I like him, like I said before, the character design, his powers, the Shinigami, and the Quincy powers, I'm pretty sure he, he has a little bit. His Bonkai. His Muigetsu form. His freaking Getsu Tensho. His freaking Fulbring. His freaking, oh my, his half hollow mask, who where he's like all crazy and crap. His hollow mask form, his Vasta Lorde. He has so many awesome freaking forms, and the anime comes along with it, with the best music possible for those forms. Guys, that was my list. If you guys did enjoy this list, please leave a like, and if you enjoy these little picture videos, where they show pictures and talk under it, then again, leave it in the comments below so I know you guys want to see more of these. If you guys want to see more of me just talking from a camera, and doing videos like this with me in the camera, um, or do you want me to just um, do discussions and articles and drum dash and stuff so if you guys want me to do that then I understand completely but if you guys want me to do more top fives like this I love making these videos they're fun to make even though getting gathering all the pictures is a pain that's how I use some of the that's why you've seen some of me use the pictures Twice. But yeah guys, so if you do like these type of videos, please leave a like so I know you want to see more. But with that said guys, uh, yeah, like I said before, leave a like, go to my Twitter, and subscribe. See you in the next one guys. Johnny.